guys hello my people today i'm going to show you how i bake my chapatis and how i cook my um, beef fry that is wet fry because i live and work in europe and here we don't have the um, the spices um, the african spices and um, things like that so i just improvise my um my uh, spices my in ingredients and yeah but uh, i walked um into a shop uh, in, sorry into a shop uh, one day and i saw some um and that was a china shop and i saw some um spices which i which I normally buy in my country. So I just bought those spices and uh, came home and I tried to make some something, you know. But today I just decided to show you how I bake my chapatis and how I make my um, uh, beef fry, so wet fry. That is, we call it in, um, in our language, karanga. Yeah, that is only beef with um, tomatoes. But here I don't use tomatoes because I don't like tomatoes here. They are not like in my country. The tomatoes here, you can cook them for, um, for a very long time for them to be saucy, you know. But in my country, you just cut the tomatoes and you just, you fry them. Just some minutes, they are saucy they are they have a very thick sauce you know what i mean i love my country but here the tomatoes i i think they have only these tomatoes for salad so they these tomatoes tomatoes needs a lot of time to cook um to a thick sauce you know so guys uh, jokes aside yes now jokes aside now I'm going to show you how I bake my dough. I have just done it. It's just um, finishing. As you can see here, how I have made some bowls. As you can see, those are the bowls I have made. And this is how I make the bowls. Now I'm going to show you how I make the bowls. So the, these mipiras, you, you see these mipiras. <laughs> I'll show you how, how I make mine. So guys, just sit, relax, and watch what I'm going to do. It's very interesting, by the way. So guys, I just put some flour here on my surface, like that, and I take one bowl, so I knead it, as you can see, just simple, simple things, the simple things you do in your own home is what I'm doing here. Just very, very simple. This is making a little friction. So, that is how I knead it to this size. And then I take my oil. I use any, any kind of oil. You can use any kind of oil. The oil you want... But mine, I use um, sunflower oil. Now I do it with my hands. And then I fo fold it like this, as you can see, folding. So that the chapatis might have, um, oh, yeah, the chapatis may have layers, you know. Because everybody likes chapatis which have layers. They are delicious. So, this is the interesting part. Now you take the chapatis and you 
fold them like that in a circle as you can see mine but very tight you have to to pull very tight so that the, the chapat is my may um, um, may be tight and uh, lay up uh, um, good layers now you can see how they are and they are tight they can't um, they can't um, uh, leave okay. just like they can't disarrange uh, okay it cannot dis disarrange itself it is very tight and intact you see how it is and now so that um, it can stay soft and wetty you have to dip in some flour flour as you can see you see delicious then you have to put it aside don't bake it right away when you need it and you fold it don't bake it straight away you have to put it in in a place and uh, cover the yeah cover them with the with the uh, plastic plastic paper like this one plastic I know in my country there are no plastics. The plastics are, um, are burnt. But you can um, cover them with the plastic so that they can stay soft. And this is the last one now. I have to dip it in, a, in the baking flour and that is it. That's it. I mean, now you need it like the other one. Now you see the very size I showed you when it reaches this si uh, size. Now you have to put some oil, not too much, because I don't like oil myself. I don't like a lot of oil. So you have to spread the oil all over, and then you start folding again. You see, small folds small thin folds so that the layers uh, might um, might be interesting so so you see how it is like this now you have to follow the sequence i showed you you have to fold it in a circle and there you see this one there between you insert the the tail i i call it tail you insert the last part there now you see it's, it's tight it cannot come out it's very tight very good now you have to insert it in a in, a, in the baking flour like that and you put it again you put it aside now you see my my chapatis look I don't make a lot of chapatis because it's only me uh, it's only my daughter and I so when we eat like I will eat one and a half and my daughter eats one and a half and then we have like two or three for tomorrow with tea so we have to drink tea tomorrow with chapatis we like it that way so so that we can have a little bit of our country in europe you know 
we like that. We live just a very simple life and we like it. We like it. It's very interesting. So we don't um, we don't leave our culture. We don't put our culture aside. So we are good. And we are very satisfied with what we do. We, we cook um, sometimes um, beans like that or we search for mains and we cook githeri or something like that. We, we like it. We like like that. We like changing diet. We like uh, changing our food, you know. So, that is, that is our, um, our balls for chapatis. And we are finished now. Now we will just come to the final um, attaches. So we are going the way I told you. I have to cover it with the cover them with the with the plastic paper. Now you see, so that they can still uh, they can stay moist and they don't get dry outside. So like this. Now you see. So I put aside and they will be, when they, as I said before, you don't have to bake straight away so that they will stay, um, they will remain soft and they will continue being soft, you know, so that when you bake it, you bake them, they will be um, more softer. So. Um, as I told you, I am cooking today. I am uh, cooking. Uh, I am baking chapatis with karanga or with beef fry, wet fry. I cooked my uh, meat already, and I am going to show you now. How I cooked my meat. This is the meat which I cooked. This is my meat, as you can see. This is what I cooked today. I just um, boiled the meat with the salt and I boiled for almost um, 30 minutes like that. You see how soft it is. You see how soft. I like. Uh, in fact, I like um, meat with some bones inside, you know. It is very delicious. Now you see. This meat, I bought this meat, it, it is beef. I bought this meat in a, a turkey shop. You can't get this meat in, um, in a supermarket. You have to go to a turkey shop so that you can get uh, meat like this. And I like meat like this because it looks like uh, from my country, as you can see. Very lovely. Lovely, lovely. Cook. Look how soft it is. Even my saliva is coming out <laughs> slowly, <laughs> guys. So that's our meat. And now I'm going to fry this meat. And to fry this meat, I will need some um, ingredients. I will need some spices. I will need... I will put some um, potatoes inside so that I can enjoy the karanga. So, <laughs> that's wonderful today. I'm feeling so happy because I'm going to do something very special today. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fry my meat with this frying pan. In fact, I have a lot of frying pans, big ones, but I prefer this one. I like my frying pan, my little frying pan. I like it. I love it. So, because it doesn't disappoint me. I'm going to fry meat with this uh, frying pan and I will need some onions. I just chopped some onions already. These ones, I have already finished with them. So, I will put some onions in my frying pan. Like that. 
that. All of you can see that there is something inside my onions. Then I will put some a little bit oil inside. I don't like oil, as I said before. Oil, oil, yeah. <laughs> I call it like in German, oil. So I don't like oil very much. So I'm going to use only a little bit. And then I have my um I have my garlic, as you can see. I have my garlic, and I just poured my garlic um, African way. I don't squeeze it or something like that. I just came, I, I last year I came with this from um, my country, so that I can do it um, African way. So I'm going to pour this, this um, garlic and put it here, as you can see. And then I fry. Then I have my spices here. My spices. As you can see. I have my spices like. Um, so. Like. Kayana. I have Kayana. Every time I have to put Kayana in my uh, food. So. I have. Um, turmeric. As you can see this I came I came with it last year from my country and I have garam masala I came with it too as you can see is from Africa and then I have tomato paste this one this I bought in a in my turkey shop where I buy some African things, you know. So, uh, and I have um, this. Um, this. This is a. Um, um, this is used for. Sorry, this is used for um, seasoning. You see, like Royco or something like that, because uh, here in Europe we don't have Roycos. I have to buy um, this one. It acts like Royco, of course. It's a very tasty um, broth. It's a very tasty um, vegetable broth, as you can see. So I finished. I came with. Uh, I came with the Royco, but I finished my Royco, so I have to buy this one from the supermarket. Whoever is in Europe, please, this one will act like Royco. So I use this one for the meat, and I'm finished. You know, those are my ingredients. They are not um, so many. They are just few, but very tasty, very tasty. And um, these are my potatoes already. I have chopped them. I have peeled them and chopped them. They are my potatoes. So, that's what I'm going now to do, guys. So, I have to powder my, my uh, garlic now. If you allow me. <laughs> Now you see, it is ready. It is ready. So I put it aside. And now you see my garlic. How it is. How it is. Lovely. Very lovely. So I'm going to put my... I'm going to make... To turn on my... My cooking... Um, 
my fire. So, and when the onions are hot, I have to put the garlic inside. I don't put the garlic straight away with the um, um, the same time at the same time with the uh, the onions. The onions must get hot first, and then I put garlic later. Then I fry a little bit when they are cooked. I put my I first put my dania, that is um, what is um, coriander. I put my coriander inside. I have coriander here. Of course, this is my coriander. I bought it also in uh, in the turkey shop. This one is my coriander. And we have also coriander uh, coriander powder. I have it here, coriander powder, but I I don't prefer that one. I prefer the green fresh ones. You know, like in Kenya. So guys, I was explaining that when I when the onions are hot enough, I put my garlic and then I fry yeah, the mixture. I bring the mixture to cooking when they are cooked or when they are a little bit brown. I put my coriander, which I will just cut into pieces, small pieces. I put there inside and then I fry a little bit. Yeah, then I put my turmeric. Listen very carefully. I put my turmeric. Then I put my cayana. Then I put the garam masala. And then I stir the mixture together for a little bit, for a one second or two seconds. Then after that, I put the um, tomato paste. At last, lastly, I put tomato paste. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry, not lastly. I put tomato sauce, uh, tomato paste, sorry. And then I stir together the mixture. Then I put um, the vegetable broth. I don't put all of it. I just put the half of it. Because it, it looks like this. It looks like this. I have to put half of it because it's very strong. That's very strong. One packet like this, one small packet can um, cook like 10 liters of soup. Soap. I mean, soup. Yeah, soup. It's very strong. So I don't put it all of it. I put just half of it. And remember, my beef is one kilo, you know. It's one kilo beef. So that's our our onion is cooking. So where was I? I was um, I put my half packet of broth, a vegetable broth, and then I stir a little bit, just with a very small heat not very not, not very hot so i put water some water inside and then i stir together then this sauce is very strong i have to when i have finished i have to put the sauce in my beef inside in my um in my my pot this one where the beef is I put the sauce inside and then I let it cook for some time. I'll show you. I'll show you. Now my onion is hot enough. I have to put my my garlic. And here where there was garlic you don't have to wash away. You just put some water a little bit water like this this water you can put in your sauce. It's not bad. This is good. This is good water. So guys, come be with me and see what I'm doing. Now I can show you the mixture of the onions and the garlic. 
so it looks like that you can see Now you see it's a little bit brown, so it's a little bit brown, that's very good, that's very good, I'm going now to put the, I'm going now to put the, the coriander, you wait and see the coriander, how I am going to do it. So this is my coriander guys, look, it is cut, it, it is chopped, now you see my coriander. I'm going to put it in this mixture of onions and garlic. As I told you, coriander will be next. Now I'll show you how it looks like. Now as you can see my mixture. You see the mixture very nice, very nice. So I will start with to put Kayana. Just a little bit, not too much, because Kayana is chili, you know. Who doesn't know Kayana? Kayana is chili. So you come and put turmeric a little bit, because turmeric is very colorful, it's very, very yellowish. Now you put garam masala. Whichever amount you want for your food. For me, I don't put a lot. So this is the mixture. And my heat is very low, as you can see. It's very low. So you see the colorful mixture so you come here and you have to put sorry you have to put tomato paste into this mixture You will excuse me because my camera is very funny, I can say. So you see the mixture, how it is. So it smells so good, the mixture. So guys, so guys, this is my vegetable broth, as you can see, I'm going to put it inside there, and I stir together, you can see the mixture, how it looks like, then I, that was the last tomato sauce of mine, tomato paste, sorry, of mine, so I just put water into this pan, and this water I can use it in the sauce I don't throw anything away only the, the can now you can see how the sauce is because I put some water you saw that I put um, some water from here from this can now you can see the sauce 
if you see that the sauce is not um, good enough for your taste you can add on some more spices as you go on and you add some more turmeric and you put away those things you store them for another day in fact those are my spices all of them they are spices spices oil, oils and spices this is my sp spice um, corner this is my spice corner all of them are spices so guys that is the sauce and you can see how creamy it is now this sauce i'm going to let it cook for some time for two minutes also and then i take it i put it in our boiled meat as you can see and let it cook for some time whereby i will be boiling um, boiling my potatoes separate in a in another pot and when my potatoes are well cooked I will then put them here in this mixture in the, in this in this pot so we are finished this sauce I'm going to put it here in my meat and then it cook for some it cooks for some um, yeah I will let it cook for some uh, three minutes or four and then it's done guys then we have our uh, beef stew I will show you when it is finished now guys I will show you